Welcome back to First at Four. If you have a dog, you may be wondering about some pet friendly options here in Lincoln. Well, Tracy Simpson and her cute dog Bella have some tips for us. Nice to have you both here. Hey, nice to be here. Tracy, you work for Visit Lincoln here in town, and this is your dog Bella. Bella, Bella. is two. Yep, what kind she'll be of a two dog? Next week. Okay, and what kind of dog? <laughs> she is a Morkie, so she's a cross between a Yorkie and a Maltese. All right, so. Uh, talk about what you do for Visit Lincoln. You've been going around with her to find some pet friendly places. Yeah, we found that during the pandemic, people you know, got a little more attached to their furry friends and furry family members. And after the pandemic, you know, they didn't wanna just leave them at home. So they're looking for places that are a little more pet friendly. So we came up with Bella's Best to kind of help people find those those friendly places. <laughs> she looks like she's very friendly <laughs> going into all of these different locations. Let's talk about some of the places that you visited that are pet friendly. Um, you know, a lot of the hotels are, are pet friendly. You know, we are finding that now they're going over and above, you know, rather than just letting the pets there. Um, we've been to the Scarlet, which actually gives them a little gift bag when they when they come in. Bella wow. got um, a ball and some treats, and and they have pet beds that are actually in the hotel with them. So, um, you know, a lot of the the hotels will do that, as well as some of the bars and restaurants are letting letting the animals in. Okay, I know that you visited the mill here in town. Mm -hmm. And uh, how does that work? Can you go inside every mill location? Um, Are you, you outside? Can, you can go okay. in. You know, they they will. They do have um, their homemade pet treats there, okay. and um, they prefer that you're out on the patio with your with your animal. But okay, and then also the running company you visited. Mm -hmm. The running company actually has a happy hour for pets, so you can go in every day, and they can run around the track and. And again, they give treats and, and such, so. Okay, we're looking at some pictures here yeah. <laughs> with you and Bella. I yeah. know you went to Pioneers Park as that's well. That's Pioneers Park, yep. Yeah. Um, that's 10,000 Villages, who also you know give some pretty nice treats. Bella was pretty much welcomed wherever she went, and she, she's kind of feeling like a little diva these days. <laughs> that's at the Scarlet there. That's at the Scarlet. That's the little <laughs> goodie bag that she got while there. Cute, and looks like she's enjoying something at the mill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So much fun. All right, so if people want to know more about um, pet friendly locations, they can go to the website. Mm -hmm. Go to lincoln.org and uh, Bella actually has a blog on there. Okay. So um, she talks about places that she's been and found pet friendly. Um, I will say that if you're a pet friendly location, then you know please let us know. We'd love to bring Bella out there and um, have her write a little bit about your location. Sounds good, all right. And Lincoln Visitor Center in the Haymarket is open summer hours, uh, nine to three, Monday through Friday, eight to one on Saturdays, closed yep. on Sundays. Yep. Okay, Tracy, Bella, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back. <laughs>